so um you guys have wanted a skin routine i think since um the internet existed so here i am i'm gonna show you my skin routine um but i want to like preface this with saying like a lot of your skin health comes from like genetics and like how you eat and like live your life so uh, like i don't want to show you this and then you guys are like oh i'll use these products and my face will like look just like kind of like no that's not how it works like i'm i've always had like really um clear skin and i think it's just a genetic thing my mom has always had clear skin and whatnot um but i still do take care of my skin um, so I'm going to show you guys that, but I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want everyone to think like, oh, if I buy this one product, then it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it depends on the person and let's just do my skincare routine. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of products that I use, but I kind of like switch them up and I'm also going to kind of experiment a little bit today. So I'm going to grab everything I use off my little shelf here. I use this every other day. It's the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. Um, it's a really deep exfoliant, so I don't use it every day because otherwise my face gets like red and gets irritated with me. Um, so I have three main cleansers that I kind of rotate. The first one is this, I think it's Biore. I don't know how to say it. Biore Charcoal Cleanser. And then the Clean and Clear Total Zen Cleanser. And then the Pacifica Seafoam Cleanser. So I use all three of these. Um, these two are vegan, so I haven't been using this one a lot, even though um, I really like what it does for my skin. I just think it's important to follow my beliefs. I usually use um, this one in the morning and this one at night because this one's like lavender and it's really like calming and this one's like my wake up, brightening, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so then I use a toner um, and I have two toners that I've been using. Um, this lemon juice toner by Clean and Clear. I freaking love the smell of this. If you know me, I'm a hoe for anything that smells like lemons. And then the other one is the Pacifica Cosmic Review. Um, this one, I don't love the smell. I it, It's got a vanilla scent in there and I'm not a huge vanilla person, but it has an also like orange scent as well. So like, I don't really know. So I have two moisturizer. One is like my bougie version and one is like my everyday version. So the Don't Flake um, Moisturizer by Clean & Clear. This is vegan. Um, it has the weirdest consistency. Like I know it's a gel, but like, I don't know, like a little goes a long way. And then my bougie version is the Kate Somerville um, exfoliate gel moisturizer. I did get this in PR a long time ago, but um, I've been repurchasing it ever since because it does wonders for my skin and it smells so good, but it is like $60 for like a little tub like this. And you can see mine is like almost gone. So and lastly, um, I have sunscreens and then this vitamin C serum. Um, I don't really know if this does anything. I just put it on because it's fun. I have the Sunbum Face 50 and then um, this one is the Raw Elements. Um, this is actually in my subscription box. But I really like this one because it is tinted. So it kind of acts as like a foundation. I don't wear foundation, like I don't wear makeup. So this is kind of my like keeping my skin safe but also cute look. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I'm gonna use is this St. Ives Exfoliant. And one thing that I think is really important, so I set this towel out today. Um, I have one towel that's for like my hands and one that's for my face. So I don't use the same towel that I dry my hands off with on my face just because I feel like even though your hands are like clean, I don't know, I'm just weird about it. So I like to have my own separate face towel. So I have this little clip. Make my hair really ugly for a second because I need it all out of my face. Yeah, you've probably seen a grandma with this hairstyle. I already know. So I just put that much ish. I don't know. And then. And again, just be like gentle doing this because I remember the first time I ever used it, I went like ham on my skin and it was red and like annoyed afterwards for a long time so be gentle step one done so um this pacifica cleanser be like believe it but hello oh i thought someone was knocking on my door 
Now my face has been cleansed. So I usually bounce back and forth between these two, like I said, but we're gonna use the Pacifica one just because that's where we're at today. I have these. These aren't the best because they're not reusable, but I'm too broke to buy reusable ones right now. I'm sorry. You would be so surprised, you guys, about how much stuff will come off on this pad even though I just washed my face. Like, it's insane. Like, do you see that on there? You see that, right? It's like dirty. Like, ew, I just washed myself. So then, the vitamin C serum. Um, I don't know how to tell like if this is doing anything and I don't really know how to tell how to put it on. Like I just do this because that's what I've seen beauty gurus and people do. And then lastly, oh my god, no, I missed a step. I'm gonna just use the Don't Flake Moisturizer. Um, I just put my finger in the cap and like literally that much, like you can't even see that, will go so far. Then lastly, um, tinted moisturizer. I just put like a pump in my hands and I just go like this and I just... Oh, that stuff is the best. So that's like my skincare routine. Um, my skin is done. So I came out here in my room where there is um, natural lighting to show you guys kind of what my skin looks like. It's always so glowy and beautiful after I get done with my skincare. Um, but I do have like a reindeer situation going on. Yeah, but I just wanted to go through and just um, remind everyone that doing my skincare routine isn't gonna like clear your skin or anything. Um, but I honestly have found that when I started using vegan products, um, it did respond better on my skin. And I think that makes sense because like if you think of like when they first started doing skincare, like they weren't putting chemicals on their faces and like, this just doesn't make sense. But I also understand if you have like hormonal acne or something and you need to combat that, that makes sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like do what's best for your skin um, and don't fall into the trap of people just promoting things and saying like, this will clear your skin immediately. Like, find something that works for you. All right guys, well, I hope that this was helpful, informative, um, whatever you wanted. Um, it's been so highly requested that I'm happy that I finally got it out to you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, um, anything else you want me to make. So thank you and uh, subscribe if you feel like doing that. If you don't, that's chill too. I mean, if you made it this far in the video, I'm happy with that. And so yeah, okay, bye. This is like so narcissistic, but like also she looking good. Do I look like crazy or is it just me? I feel like I look like crazy. Okay, bye.